welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited because today there's gonna be a big noise in Hollywood that's gonna interrupt my filming. But really, I am talking about my favorites today. I haven't done a favorites video since like nom and so it's been a long time and I'm really excited because I mean who doesn't like talking about things they love, you know? So here we go. That's what I'm talking about today, and if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and also, here comes the hate. Stick around by subscribing to my channel. I would deeply, deeply appreciate it, because I want you guys to stick around, and I like talking to you guys, so if you want to make my day. So I figured now that we're going into fall, I should talk about some new things that I'm super duper in love with, and I think you guys will enjoy. So, I guess I'll start off with the fashion stuff. I feel like I just kind of like overrule some of these items, because I'm like, ugh, they, they don't want to hear about this anymore, but in reality, you guys really want to know about the things that I currently like love, so obviously, I'm gonna show them to you. Y'all, these shoes have been with me since April, and I have worn them like almost every single day since then. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that these, I have them in black and I have them in this color. They're Jeffrey Campbell, and so they are a little bit more expensive, but guys, these things are the best shoes ever. They're so comfortable. I got Caitlyn addicted to them, and she has two pairs now, and I see more colors in my future because I'm just obsessed with them. These type of shoes are really popular right now, and I actually found like a Forever 21 dupe a few weeks ago, and so I don't know if it's still on their website, but if it is, I'll link it in the description box. And I can't really vouch for how comfortable the Forever 21 ones, Forever 21 ones are, but I guess we can see. And then I have one top because I mean, it's still hot in Los Angeles, so I don't really know exactly fall clothing-wise what I'm going to be wearing, but I'll do a haul probably so you guys will know what I'm wearing. I got it right before I went home to Kentucky, and it is this off-the-shoulder blouse from Forever 21, and it reminds me of a Stone Cold Fox blouse that is really popular. It reminds me of a pirate in the best way possible, and I think it's so cute. I don't care what anyone else says, off-the-shoulder tops are my shit, and white tops, so obviously this is one that I had to purchase. Uh, just, you need, just go buy this. I have my belt. You guys have seen this belt everywhere, all over my Instagram, and it is this belt by, technically it's by Forever 21, but it's below the belts collaboration. This one is the medium large one because I wanted like the two clamps to be together. And it's the gunmetal and black one. They don't sell this one on Forever 21 anymore, but it was so worth the $60. I literally wear this anytime I go out. Just completes any outfit and it's my favorite thing right now. I love it so much. If anyone tries to steal it from me, I'd kick them in the butt. Chokers are taking over the world right now and I didn't think I'd get into them. But the metal ones I'm really into. So this one is the For Eternity Choker by Free People. It's by a different brand. I'm not exactly sure what the brand is. But right now they only have the gold one on their website because I think they sold out of the silver one, which is really depressing. And I hope I never lose this one because I already lost one of them. These just are so delicate and just add like the perfect amount of kind of like trendiness to an outfit. But the silver one is my favorite. I think silver really brings out my eyes. Is that a thing? If it is, yay. My glasses, hands down, have been a favorite this month. You guys have seen me wear these ever since like July because, oh crap, these are dirty. But these are my glasses. I love them so much and I think they just like add so much to an outfit. Like if I'm just not wearing a lot of makeup and I'm like, whatever. I just put these glasses on and I instantly feel so much cooler and just like it adds just a little bit of something to it. I feel like everything I'm showing you guys just adds a little something to an outfit. And for those who are asking, what ones these are. These are RB52852034 5319. So if that means anything to you guys, there you go. And what kind of video would this be if I didn't show you guys some sunglasses? These ones are from Ditto. I know, roll your eyes. You guys are sick of hearing me talk about Ditto, but if you use my code CEREVEL93, you get a free month of renting designer sunglasses, which is really cool. And these are the ones that I've been wearing a ton. I've been just carrying these in my purse recently. These are the Karen Walker One Worship, and they're black, make me feel like a badass. Someone said they look like 3D glasses, which I can kind of see, but I like to pretend that they're not. Real quickly, the last fashion accessory I want to talk to you guys about is this bag, I got this when I went to Napa, and I never really talked about it, and a lot of you guys thought I got the Chloe Faye bag, 
this is not it. I got this off Amazon. It was $60. And I know a lot of you guys always complain about me buying luxury stuff. Well, if you want the look for less, like I did, Amazon. Moving on to my skincare items that I've been loving. I actually just got this a few days ago and I am already super obsessed with it. And this is a Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. And essentially I just take a little bit of it and I massage it into my face and you can literally see the foundation and everything just getting picked up by this balm and it's so crazy although it does kind of like look a little silly whenever you're washing it off like you have a big white like foam all over your face but it's mind-blowing it's helping helping clearing up my face and everything like that and also I use it in conjunction with the oh, Peter Thomas raw max complexion correction pads and I read online that this was good for people who have hormonal acne, which is what I have because I always just break out around my mouth. And guys, I haven't been to a dermatologist yet. I would probably do that if this continues to not be effective. Well, it's being effective now, but if it proves to not be effective anymore, then I'll go to one. But this has helped me so much. That and also using the Mario Badescu like little thing acne spot treatment just amazing next favorite i recommended to to my very best friends tara and jill when they were over here i was like you guys need to test this out this is a becca ultimate coverage concealing cream and guys best coverage concealer hands down stays in place all damn day is this concealer if you guys get a lot of spray tans like me i'm in the shade honeycomb um because i do get spray tans pretty frequently as you guys know and this is just the best high coverage concealer. I don't really need to say more about concealer. The next thing is this lipstick that I'm wearing. It is Rock Steady by Urban Decay and well, it's clearly beautiful, so need I say more? No. And finally, I'm going to talk about my favorite thing and that is my agenda. If you guys follow me along on my school supplies video, I talked about this agenda. This is actually from Marshalls. It was $8. I still have the tag on it. The brand is E-C-C-O-L-O. -O. But guys, I look forward to planning so much because of this agenda. It's so cute. It's marble and just adorable. I just like write everything down possible. So I'm not sure if you guys still want me to include music favorites in these videos, but I have a few favorites because like some months I like indie music and then some months I'm all about Nicki Minaj and then some months I'm all about country music. Well, ever since about March, I've been really on a country music kick. So right now the song I can't stop listening to is Peter Pan by Kelsey Ballerini. I probably pronounced that wrong, but it's such a good song. The lyrics are great, especially if you have dealt with a lot of fuckboys like me. It don't hurt like it used to. Billy Currington, it's a very good one too. Obviously I have to say record year because who doesn't love that song by Eric Church? And then also for the past few months, I've been really on a big Dan and Shay kick. Like it first started off with the From the Ground Up song. And then like nothing like you I was really into and now I'm really into the song lipstick which was in one of my videos recently I'm trying so hard to get Caitlyn to go see John party with me because he's my favorite I freaking love him so that is my favorites video for right now I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it was just like so many random things and probably things I've already talked about in videos before but I just wanted to all compile them into one single video for you guys so you guys knew what I've been loving recently and what you need to get through the next few months. These horns outside are agreeing with me. They're like, everything Sarah says is legit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Stick around by subscribing to my channel. I would definitely appreciate that. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.